Hey people of VC, it's Andy at Cloudy Amalda. Got a big old stack of uh, rock and metal CDs to show you today. Things that I've picked up over the last few weeks, month or so. And also a couple of trades that I've made with other people in the uh, VC MC as well. First up, um, Mark G with a C. We, uh, we had a little trade going. I sent him a couple of things and uh, he sent me... Uh, Years of Decay by Overkill. Uh, believe it or not, I've never owned this album before. I can certainly see why it's so high on uh, people's uh, ranking lists uh, for Overkill. So I need to get more acquainted with it. And of course I can now because I've got this. The other one he sent me, which was kind of intrigued me more than the Overkill, was uh, this band, uh, Pan Ram with their album Rats. Never heard of these guys before. Um, I think they are... I should have looked this up. I did look this up actually, but I forgot. Panram, I think... Are they Swedish? No, they're German. That's right, of course, yeah, they're German, because they're like a... They're a similar sort of power metal sound, the likes maybe of uh, Halloween and... Um, Mania, but these guys have a, a little bit more of a Queensryche vibe to them. Um, certainly, a couple of the songs, you know, kind of have the, the um, almost like the dialogue that you, you get from Operation Mindcrime. So, yeah, definitely uh, an Operation Mindcrime type of vibe to this one. But I really enjoyed it, and what a great way to discover new music than trading with other people in the VC. Another, it was a trade of sorts, but um, I got CDs and uh, Metal Mickey got some hard cash via PayPal. But uh, he did a recent video where he was um, offering up a number of CDs that he had, and uh, uh, I told him a few I was interested in. He he kind of said, well, you know, he made me an offer, and um, it was good enough not to quibble. So I went for it and uh, showed this in the, one of the recent videos. I was talking about Neuron Spoiler, and that's uh, Halford, a uh, double live album, live in Surrection. Really, really good stuff. Um, I haven't heard any of Halford's uh, solo stuff, and this is a mixture of his solo stuff and uh, uh, Judas Priest uh, songs as well. And it was good to hear Heart of a Lion. Heart of a Lion was the song I was talking about when I showed the Neuron Spoiler album, that was um, a very Judas Priest song because it was written by. Halford Tipton and Downing, but never made it to a Judas Priest album. It's uh, been on Racer X album, and it's uh, on here. So it's a little bit of a coincidence. I got it the same week that I was talking about Neuron Spoiler, but um, great nonetheless. More on the uh, the heavy uh, hard rock side. That's uh, Monster Magnet, Power Trip. Now I've got um, another uh, Monster Magnet. I'm struggling with uh, my memory today. It's terrible. Is it um, oh, Monster Magnet? I'm going to have to look it up, so bear with me for one second. The album that I have from Monster Magnet is... Uh, I should have had a drum roll for this, but I don't. It is God Says No. And as much as I like that album, I kind of thought... You know, um, that's enough for me. I'm, I'm not really interested in finding too much more from them. But Mike had this, so it was easy to get hold of. And I'm so glad that now I actually want to. This is kind of it's as good as God says no. But it, uh, but it's also different enough to make me think that well, well maybe I should check out a few more of uh, their uh, their albums as well. It's a two, two CD set. There's a live CD as well. I've not heard the live CD version. It's a limited edition tour edition from 2002, I think it is. I really should do a bit more research when doing the, uh, the CD updates, but there we go. Never claims to be professional. The other one was uh, Halloween. And this is the special edition of a Rabbit Don't Come Easy. I've listened through this once, and it's long. I mean, there are there are twelve tracks and three bonus tracks, but I just felt that it was 
a little bit of a chore to get through. I do need to give it a another go, but uh, there we go. This is the first Halloween album I've heard post the 80s, so never heard any of the Halloween stuff with Andy Darris or uh, all without Kai Hansen or uh, Michael Kiskey, so that was quite cool. Now the rest is a stack of it's mostly albums that I've got already on vinyl, but I kind of wanted to have a, uh, a CD version so I could take a full lossless rip and listen to them on the go. The first uh, one is, um, uh, there's a few I made albums here, so the first is a, um, this is kind of like an OG CD, so it's kind of nice to get, but, I say but because I started picking up these enhanced, I think the 1998 re-releases, the enhanced versions of the albums, and um, they're the ones that come and that you put them all together and you get the nice little picture of Eddie, and obviously that doesn't have it, in fact it doesn't even have the Iron Maiden uh, logo on there, uh, on the side done properly, so... And also, given that I have all the OGs on vinyl, um, in hindsight, I think it would be better to have some of the remastered uh, versions. Um, but, yeah, Peace of Mind, Power Slave, Somewhere in Time, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. None of these I've had on CD before, which may surprise some of you, but... Uh, uh, I knew them so well from the 80s that I, didn't, I kind of didn't need them on CD, but uh, it's nice to have them now. And No Prayer for the Dying. Again, not an album I'm uh, fantastically taken by, but there are some good songs. Run Silent, Run Deep is my favourite song off uh, this album. Likewise with Metallica. I um, picked up three Metallica CDs recently. I already had Ride the Lightning on CD, so I just wanted to fill in the gaps and get some uh, Killer War. Master of Puppets, and these are all kind of vanilla versions, there's no extra tracks. I'm not a massive fan of extra tracks. I don't mind if it comes on a, se a separate CD, but I prefer to have the original album uh, play from start to finish and not have any surprises uh, stuck on the end. Um, yeah, and this is uh, Injustice for All uh, as well. Slowly but surely, picking up... Um, Slayer albums, as I find them super cheap. Never been the biggest Slayer fan ever, I have to say. Uh, but uh, it's it's nice to check out some of their um, uh, their other albums that I'm not familiar with. So this is Christ Illusion from 2000, and I can't see. I've got my glasses on. 2006 on. Um, American. There we go, Slayer, Absolution. Well, it's quite a good album, I like that. Now, a couple of. Um, so, these are all British bands, actually. Uh, first couple are in the traditional metal bracket. First up is the debut album from Night Screamer. This is a Dead of Night. Great traditional heavy metal, played uh, really well. Look at the back cover of the band. You can't see this. It's a. It's a Digi pack, so it's really you don't get the nice uh, stretch with it. In fact, it's not even a digi pack, it's just a gatefold card wallet, which is kind of a little annoying. Um, when you're paying like full price for a CD, it's uh, I would much prefer them to stick it in a jewel case or a digi pack, but uh, yeah, it's a they're a good band, and I like to support the British metal bands that are coming through at the moment. And I really hope they make it appear so I can uh, see them live as well. It's a nine, nine track album. It's uh, Light Screamer, Dead of the Night. Uh, Eliminator, a band that I have shown before. This is Lost to the Void. Uh, this is on Digipack and this is a collection of their earlier demo releases on, uh, on CD. It's got some of the tracks that are on their um, uh, their their debut album, uh, 
uh, Lost Horizon. But it, um, the song, it, it's kind of weird hearing them in, de in demo form because they are significantly uh, different, so it's quite good to kind of hear different versions of them. But uh, that's uh, another, sorry, another UK band, Eliminator, Lost to the Void. Two more. Uh, this is the debut album from Iron Void. Now, Iron Void are more uh, doom metal, but they're a doom metal on the more heavy metal side. They're not uh, this sort of slow, sludgy doom or drone or anything like that. They're very much... Uh, uh, the, the doominess is intermingled with some you know, good old-fashioned heavy metal as well. Um, I have the two other Iron Void albums on vinyl. They recently released one called Excalibur, which I've, I've not shown yet. I'll show that in a future uh, vinyl update. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they would... Uh, I missed the boat. Um, by the time I'd heard about this band, uh, the, the, the vinyl release, I think, had sold out. And um, I held off buying the CD, but they... I'm on the mailing list from the band camp. They sent out this, and they had three copies left. So I thought... Grab one now, and if they do a reissue of the vinyl in the future, then um, I will I will get that too. But this is really really good, you know, uh, good uh, doom metal. I saw these guys when they supported the Wretch in uh, in Edinburgh uh, a year or two ago. Now, very very cool stuff. And last but not least, um, glad to get this one on CD. So this is uh, aggressive perfector, Satan's heavy metal. This is a band I came across on. Um, Bandcamp uh, a few years ago now. I can't remember what year this is. A lot of these self-released sticker. A lot of these self-released albums don't always have dates on. Um, it's either 2015 or 2016. But I, it was good enough that I actually bought just the digital downloads because I didn't have any CDs. But they've reissued it on CD. Uh, obviously, aggressive perfector named after a Slayer song and they are very heavily influenced by Slayer's music but different enough to be taken seriously and, and well worth checking out so go on to Bandcamp look up Aggressive Perfector and uh, support some modern, modern metal bands and uh, you can't go too wrong um, let me know what you think of any of these releases. Obviously, there's a lot of familiar ones here in terms of Iron Maiden, Slayer, and Metallica. Um, these days, the ones that excite me most are the, the newer releases, but I'm glad to have some of the classics on uh, CD so I can uh, listen to them on the move and, and not have to be at home where the vinyls. The, I can listen to vinyl at home. I can listen to the CDs and, and what have you when I'm, uh, when I'm on the move and, and traveling. So that's always a, a comfort to me to have those two. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you again soon.